Today we have a special treat, ladies and gentlemen. We have a gentleman that's no stranger to Petersburg. We'll probably call Petersburg his second home. He's one of us. But today he is going to do a press conference and we'll have a reception for him afterwards. And again, this is a great place. Um, where's Roxanne? Is he Roxanne somewhere? Roxanne and Burl are two of our sponsors and the owners of Old Town Catering and Lavender Lace. Come on out here, Roxanne. Where are you? Don't hide. I know you're not shy. <laughs> Especially after the last war game. Hello, everybody. Yeah, there's Roxanne everyone. and Burl. Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> big sponsor. They come up there at home. Remember us when you're president. Uh, you're president. they got to come back. I'll, I'll talk to the president about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, or Burl, it's a great day to be in Petersburg. Great that uh, formal announcement of this magnitude is being done here. We pride ourselves on being strong Democrats. So this is just I say, icing on the cake. At this point, we'll ask our uh, mayor, the Honorable Andy Mickens, to come and bring greetings on the city and acknowledge our Mayor Mickens. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I, too, want to say welcome, uh, as Councilman Moore has done. It is uh, a great honor and a great pleasure to be able to extend greetings uh, to you this afternoon for the announcement that will be made. So I bring greetings from the citizens of Petersburg who are the people of the party that understand what working for the people really means. And so therefore, I say to you that we thank you for uh, choosing to make your announcement here in Petersburg. We will accept the fact that you call us your second home. Uh, we thank you for uh, including us as a part of this momentous occasion, Ms. Moran. And we also say that uh, we're willing to stand behind you and work with you in order to continue to achieve those great values that you have given to us in your work that you have already done. And so at this time, I would like to acknowledge the uh, presence of our elected officials. Uh, we have with us our vice mayor, uh, Mr. Horace Webb, and he is where are you, Horace? <laughs> Behind the column. Uh, you know Councilman Moore. Uh, you also have with us our newly elected fifth ward council member, Mr. Howard Myers. <laughs> we also have with us uh, Vanessa Crawford, our sheriff, a steam sheriff for the city of Petersburg. And we have representing um, our delegate Rosalind Dance, uh, 63rd District Delegate Lachery, if you will. And unless someone is behind a pole, have I missed anyone? All right. I don't want to take any of the excitement away from the uh, announcement to occur, so I will hand it back over to you, Ryan. Thank you, Madam Mayor. It brings me great pride to introduce a, a, what we call a true blue Democrat. He's worked hard for us, all areas of the state, from the north to the south, to the east to the west. He spent many hours on the phone. I've seen him do things that are just inspire you when you're tired he knows hard work and dedication get the job done ladies and gentlemen i'd like to introduce you to my great friend former house delegate member and also former house caucus chair the honorable brian moran councilman uh, elected officials welcome thank you very much for being here and uh, there's a couple other folks i did want to recognize the chair of the Charles City uh, Committee as well as here. I appreciate you being here. Uh, and Claire Welker, who is a legislative assistant to Minority Leader Ward Armstrong, is here as well. So Claire, thank you. The, uh, and the most effective advocate in, in Richmond is also here. Uh, Elvira Shaw is here. It's great to see her. Having spent 12 years in the House of Delegates, it's always nice to be able to interact with somebody who's there for all the right reasons, uh, standing up for those who do not have a voice in the halls of government, in the halls of the legislature. And uh, Alvar, I, I suspect you never uh, were compensated 
at least financially compensated, but I think you can take great comfort in uh, the, the satisfaction you have received. And I, and I know at, at night you look at yourself in the mirror and you have a good conscience about all the battles you've taken on. So thank you so much for all your advocacy uh, on behalf of uh, so many great causes. So it's nice to see you here. Uh, yes, I, I, I spent a lot of time with Peter's place. So I enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, and so when and, uh, Brian and I chatted uh, about uh, you know, making an official announcement of my candidacy for state party chair, it, uh, it seemed appropriate to come here to Petersburg and do that. Uh, I've spent uh, many a campaign evening here at Rosalind Dance and, and uh, visited the, the, the uh, campaign office for Barack Obama that you had here on Main Street. Oh, it's not Main Street, but it's the Main Street. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, and of course, with Brian. So it's uh, it is appropriate. So I, I'm pleased to be able to be here. So, for those of you, uh, uh, I am uh, I am Brian Moran, and I was minding my own business up till about a month ago, <laughs> uh, spending time with my family and attending all of my son's basketball practices and games, and uh, my daughter's volleyball games, and uh, I still plan on doing uh, doing that, uh, but. Uh, when my friend and mentor and uh, former colleague, uh, Richard Cranwell, decided to uh, retire from the chairmanship of the Democratic Party of Virginia after five years of service, uh, many people contacted me about that and encouraged me to run because of uh, my experience having been in the legislature for 12 years, uh, seven of those years as chairman of the Democratic Caucus where I had a responsibility to travel Virginia, recruit candidates, raise money for candidates, and support those candidates, both financially and uh, with some moral support. And so uh, I still wanted to contribute uh, to the party I love, the Democratic Party of Virginia, and I want to contribute to the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, where, I, where I reside for now 25 years and where we're raising our, uh, our, our son and daughter, our two children. So it is with great pleasure, pleasure and um, and uh, with some humility, I do uh, formally announce my candidacy for chairmanship of the Democratic Party. On my, on my way here, I, I filed and, and made, the, uh, made it official. I filed the forms, and, and so I, I do hope to be uh, your next uh, Democratic Party chair. So this won't be my last time in Petersburg. Thank you very much. I'll be here again because uh, we got some races, and, and in addition to contributing uh, to the party I love uh, in the Commonwealth where I reside, it, it's about making sure we bring leadership to the Democratic Party of Virginia. Uh, I like to talk about the four pillars of um, of, of, of the party. Uh, one of which is, is is organization, and that's why you know from committee chairs in, in Charles City to the City of Petersburg and, and all the way to our largest cities in Virginia Beach and, and Richmond. It's absolutely essential that we have an operating, effective uh, organization at the local level. Um, and uh, I'll, I'm committed to making sure those local committees uh, work efficiently. You know, I was actually, the first time I met my friend Mark Warner, who, who was uh, one of the first ones to call me to suggest that I should run for the party chairmanship. Uh, when I first met Mark, it was at an Alexander Democratic Committee meeting back in the 80s, and we used to sit in the very back of the room and uh, together. And of course, he went on to uh, great things. See, that's where it starts, at the local committee. So I'm a big fan and will be a big supporter of the local committees and the organization. And on, the part, on behalf of the party, we're going to do everything we possibly can to make sure those uh, parties grow and expand and bring in new people to those local committees. Uh, also, communication. We need to regularly equip the, uh, from local party chairs to elected officials talking points about what is the democratic message this particular week, uh, both in a positive way. I mean, we have a great positive story to share with Virginians about, about democratic governance. You know, we were uh, able to govern very effectively during the eight years of Mark Warner and the campaign. And uh, so we have a great story to tell, a very positive message. Uh, you know, we are the party of inclusiveness and opportunity. A large tent, we bring everyone in. Everyone has a role to play. Everyone should be at the table. That is one of our core beliefs. Uh, in addition to that, we are the party of opportunity. That's why we invest in education from preschool to graduate school. 
We must have lifelong learning. We must equip our young people as early as possible with a good education. And it's wonderful, I spent time with Ian over here. He's 14 years of age. He's already wearing the UVA colors. He wants to either go to UVA, Duke, Yale, or Arizona State. I don't know why Arizona State, but that's okay. Uh, but I mean, here's a, here's a fellow with, with real goals. You know, he's already set himself to go off to college in some of the best colleges uh, this country has to offer. Uh, he's an honor student, and he wants to go to the governor's school, uh, 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 Walker, uh, Walker School up in Richmond. So, you know, that's, that's what it's about, I mean, opportunity. And he's going to have a wonderfully successful life because he's afforded a good education. That's what Democrats are about as well. So that, you know, communication, organization. And then, you know, as I said, the mother's milk of politics is money. As much as we don't like it, uh, it's a necessity. It's like an automobile, you know. Uh, it's, an, it's, it's one of those necessities of life now. Uh, and, and money in politics is. And uh, I've committed to those supporters of mine that I will do everything I can to make sure that the party has the necessary resources to elect Democrats. Because ultimately, that's what this is about, is electing Democrats who share our core beliefs and values. And we need to raise the money. Uh, we need to have uh, the financial resources to make sure that we have the best quality staff available, uh, the best communication system, the best van, uh, so that we can share that with our candidates. Um, and, and, and in addition, addition to, to the money, ultimately, the most important thing is great candidates. Petersburg has had uh, the luxury of wonderful candidates, wonderful public service, the first service who care about their community, care about the schools their children, children attend. And that's what it's about. We need to make sure that we recruit strong candidates. And I've, uh, you know, I've sat across the table as, as, as Democratic caucus chair. I was, I was recruiting candidates. I've sat across that kitchen table with folks who, you know, worried about how does this affect.